Well, she did everything very right. Um, what I thought she got wrong at first was the accent. Um, I thought she gave me too much southern twang, but as I've watched my interviews over the last week, I realized that I really do have a lot of southern twang. I do sound like a, a little country bumpkin. So um, she did very good in playing me. I think she did a phenomenal job in her bond that she made with Elle, which is the little girl that played my daughter, and it definitely got me emotional seeing those scenes for sure. I was coming home from my apartment that night, um, or coming home from the store that night, and he actually came and, and took me gunpoint into my apartment and held me hostage for seven hours. You know, a lot of things happened during those seven hours, but ultimately God re really changed my life um, through many things that happened. Well, I actually was um, struggling at that point in my life. I had kind of gotten away from my Christian faith as a result of watching my first husband die in my arms and had um, let drugs kind of overtake my life and lost custody of my daughter. And so when Brian Nichols came into my life, I was desperately trying to kick that habit and get back to my, my Christian roots and my faith. Um, I actually had drugs in my apartment because I had done them the day before. And when Brian Nichols came in my apartment, he asked me if I had any drugs. I was definitely trying to do everything that he said, and so when he asked for the drugs, I told him that I had them, and I gave them to him. You know, he asked me if I wanted to do them with, with him, and it, for me, it was almost as if God was asking me, not Brian Nichols, did I want to do the drugs? Because if I wanted to do the drugs, I was going to go home and be with Jesus, but if I wanted to um, say no to the drugs, then he would change my life. And Quite honestly, I didn't know if that change was going to be for five minutes or whether it was going to be for 50 years, but five minutes of change from that life was, was more than um, enough for me to say no that day. Well, as I said, I was trying to, to break that habit and that addiction and get back to my Christian roots, and that was one way I was trying to do that was reading The Purpose Driven Life. You know, after I chose not to do the drugs, I felt a need to support that decision with some type of religious um, scripture or something. And so I, I grabbed my Purpose Driven Life, and Brian Nichols said I could read my devotion um, for that day. And so I read it out loud to him, and I did begin to see a change in him. He softened a lot, and, and we just began to talk about how um, we were both sinners saved by God's grace and how... He had made bad choices in killing four people, and I had made bad choices in choosing drugs over my daughter, but ultimately we were sinners saved by God's grace, and God still loved us despite what we had done. For me, I tried many things um, to get off of meth. I you know, went to rehab several times and, and tried to just kick the habit by doing it on my own, but it really wasn't until I laid down my brokenness to God. You know, the world tells us we have to look a certain way and act a certain way before we can come to God, but that could be nothing further from the truth. My experience is that God was waiting on me for a long time to lay down my brokenness, and my brokenness meant my addiction and many other things I was struggling with, and when I finally gave it to God, He began to show off and change my life. I would say to them, that's all He's waiting for. He's waiting for you to give Him your brokenness so he can change it into something beautiful.